Hello everybody, this is Peter at Bobcat Cam UK and uh, what I want to do today is take you through some uh, thread milling uh, using single point thread milling and multi-threads um, as you can see on the screen I've got this uh, sample in front of me and what I want to do is I want to thread the outside and thread the inside um, what I've done is I've got a setup here where I've set everything up rough and finish outside uh, center drill and drill all rough mill counter bore finish mill run the chamfering tool chamfering tool then I've got single thread outside single thread inside then I've got multi threads outside and multi threads inside and then I've got a corner rounding operation in there so they're the operations I've got I'll quickly go through them um, um, and show you each operation and then I'll show you the uh, thread milling as well. So what I'll do is I'll uh, just take this corner out here and uh, post I'm going to say no and same for the chamfer and same for that chamfer turn that one off and turn the and then what I can do is I'll turn that one off as well so the first operation is to rough the outside you can see I've got a rough it uh, rough pocket and then profile finish inside of there if I just edit the operation 10 and 2 the total depth is 20 next pocketing and then a profile finish next G54 um, rotary angle art moves next I've got a 20 milli cutter with a 3 milli corner add on the corner so it's a bull nose cutter next I've got advanced pocketing adaptive roughing um, I'm climb milling and I'm doing a 10% step over next I'm leaving 0.5 on the side next uh, plunging because we're coming out of the job next and then I've got a 20 milli um, with the 3 milli rad bull nose and it's coming round the profile side allowance nothing next lead in lead out next sharp corners closest cancel so basically I've um, roughed out that 3D shape uh, th roughed it out and finished it round the profile so we just simulate that so you can see it modules simulation and I'll just take off the toolpath and I've got pocket and finished profile I'll just start the run now you can see I'm coming on the side and I'm gradually working in let's just speed that up a little bit it's a bull nose cutter it's got a three milli rad on the corner coming round coming round as you can see so if you run the second one it's, it's, it's gone round the profile and finished the profile so basically I've roughed out and finished the profile if I go into cut sim into analysis sorry and go into deviation and press the button and then we should see a green section uh, of where it's done and cut the shape you can see it's green green it's not in the I haven't took the bore out yet and I haven't put the chamfer on but the bottom and the outs outside profile are finished so if I uh, close that down and what I can do is take that close that up and then what I can do then is center drill and drill all so if I post and say no and then simulate it so if you go into modules simulation so turn the toolpath off and we've already seen the so I'll just go to get get it to speed up through the roughing operation and finishing and then what it can do then it can center drill and then drill which is what it's done drilled all the way through 
so I'll close the sim down and then what I can do then is turn on the rough mill counter bore so we'll turn that on so post yes post yes so you can see now we we put them operations back into modules simulation if I get past there and just go to profile rough and turn the tool paths off you can see now where it's going to do the profile the uh, finish mill the counter ball rough the counter ball and finish mill it which is what it's going to do it was spiraling in and it's finished that now so if we look at that now we should see the bottom finished the outside finished and we should see the inside finished as well which it is as you can see so let's come out of there let's run the chamfering tool post post which turns them on and then if you go into modules simulation go down the list and let's get to the chamfer mill and turn that off so what it's going to do now is put the inside chamfer and the outside chamfer which you can see is done okay uh, we've got the single threads what I'll do is I'll put the corner rad on as well uh, we'll just close that down and we'll we'll post that one as well so if we go into modules simulation turn the toolpath off come down go up to the corner rounding and we're up to this position where we're doing the corner rounding if we just slow that down you can see um, we're going to put a tool in there and we're going to do the corner rounding so if I run that you can see it's going round and it's put the corner ads on the corners so what I want to do now is I want to simulate the single point um, thread milling on the outside and also on the inside so if I go into here and post post so what I can do now is I'll close that down and I'll re-simulate it so modules simulation we'll get up to the thread milling and we'll turn off the toolpath finish that last just run that through for a chamfer mill which is what it's doing and then what I want to do then is I want to put a thread on the outside and also on the inside now this is a single point tool as you can see and you can see it's creating a single thread let's speed the process up so you can see it putting the single thread in and then it'll come and do the inside same tool doing a single thread and then round the chamfer so we threaded the outside and we threaded the inside let's just go and edit one of them operations so you can see it so if we go into edit edit operation uh, I've set my material, uh, top top of job diameter um, next I'm telling it I'm doing a thread next work offset art moves next told it what the tool is next I'm going from top to bottom and I'm doing the outside you get the choice between inside and outside outside I'm doing next I put what thread diameter is thread height thread pitch uh, thread per revolution just one start angle at zero next and leading lead out so I'll cancel that 
So that gives you some idea on the single. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to blank them two out. And then what I'll do is I'll activate these two. So pulse yes and pulse yes. So now um, let's have a look. Multi, yeah, there it is. So what I'll do then is single thread inside. I'm going to pulse no. So now I'm going to run the simulation again, but this time I'm going to use multi threads. And in this one, if we just edit the operation, you can see it's doing what size it is. But this time we're telling it we've got te six teeth on the tool, um, and this is uh, this is the inform this is where you need to put the information in for how many threads on your tool. I'll cancel that. So if I go into uh, that's it outside. Yep, let's run that one. Modules simulation. As I say, we can just run through these operations quickly. Just get up to the thread milling. So we'll go to the chamfer. And we're at that point. Uh, I go on to thread milling. So now you can see I've got multiple threads in. And I've told it how many threads I've got down there. So now I want to cut it using this. Uh, using multiple threads. Let's just put that in the middle. And then what we can do is we can slow the simulation and if we run it you can see now it comes in puts the thread round it comes in and rejoins it again continues with the thread so now we're using the multiple threads and down the last one there to finish it down the depth we'll also do the same on the inside come around the inside see putting the thread in and that's how you would do it if you're going to use multiple threads. So if I just go to a front view. And just go into display. You can see where we've created the multiple threads. So if you want to do thread milling in Bobcad, this is how we do it. Hopefully that gives you, uh, hopefully it gives you some help to get you started. Uh, hopefully I'll catch you in the next video and uh, thanks for watching.